Good evening, I'm Greg Sharp. Our sports ticker brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. Oscar men's basketball took off today for Ann Arbor, Michigan. They will face the Michigan Wolverines tomorrow night at 5.30 for a tip time, 4.30 for pregame coverage here on the HRN. We're going to hear from head coach Fred Hoiberg later on this hour. Big Ten hoops tonight, 24th ranked Rutgers at 18th ranked Indiana. They're getting late first half. The Hoosiers with a 30 to 22 lead over the Scarlet Knights. Minnesota was to have played at Illinois tonight, but COVID issues with inside the Gopher program has postponed that game until a further date. 8 o'clock tonight, Maryland will visit Michigan State to take on the Spartans. Husker wrestler Silas Allred was named today the Big Ten's Wrestler of the Week. The 197-pounder registered a pair of pins against Illinois and Purdue in the Huskers' victories over the Illini and Boulder last weekend. Allred is ranked 10th in the country in the latest polls. Huskers back on the mat Sunday at home against Rutgers. The 1890 Initiative helping Husker student-athletes navigate name, image, and likeness. To learn more or donate, visit 1890nebraska.com. Now get ready for another night of Sports Highly here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Squirt Heidi for three, you betcha. Top of the key off the assistant show. Four seconds on the clock, Jamarcus Lawrence got it! Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Well, good evening. Welcome. It's our first show of the week. We got last night off. Husker women's basketball played at Northwestern. The Huskers got out to a terrific start, led 20-3, to and kind of held on a little bit in the fourth quarter. Turnovers raised their ugly head again, and that's a couple games in a row. That's a bit of an issue. That's something they need to clean up. I'm sure we'll hear about that in hour two tonight from Amy Williams. Good evening. How are you? Hey. Hey, I'm good. Hey, uh, we have a new producer tonight, Andrew. Andrew's finally back. Andrew, first, he, uh, first show of 2023. Bounce back, <laughs> bounce back from being down for the count for a full week, but glad to have him back. I, I wonder if he's uh, even remembers how to punch the buttons back. We're gonna there. find out. Um, We're gonna find out. I told him to quit eating the worms out of those bottles. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I that was a huge concern uh, last time out. You hope they'd improve on that. And they look so good there in the first half. And it's kind of the same thing. Like, you got to be able to close it out and cleanly, right? Um, and not allow teams to get back in it. But, yeah, like you said, I'm sure we'll hear about it. And you know, it's not like this is a young team. So you'd think that this, that's something that they can um, – it shouldn't be – that much of an issue and like you mentioned Jess Shelley's a great ball handler and so Sam. you know and and Maddie Kroll is also so you've got some solid um, veteran experienced guards that it shouldn't be um, you know you wouldn't think that that would be as big of an issue as it has been the last couple of games so, but I'm sure because they are solid veteran guards I think they'll get it worked out we said they're in the midst of a three-game stretch where they really need to go three and oh they've checked two of them off Michigan State last week and then last night's game and then this Thursday home to Illinois Illinois is better than those two but you're at home that's one you better you better get yep and you know one game at a time and uh, you know when we had started breaking down the remainder of the schedule a couple weeks ago about getting into the um, the season that's what they're doing just one game at a time and hey you win last time out wasn't necessarily pretty but then you go win on the road which is always so hard to do so hey take care of business one at a time and and um, keep stacking these wins together and as we've said time and time again as you know and everybody that's college basketball fan around here knows for teams to get into the postseason that committee loves hot teams and so just keep winning get on a streak here and and um, yeah it'll look good for the committee Coach Williams in during hour two, her weekly show. So get your comments, questions ready for her. I got to believe if they practice tonight, I don't know if today they did or if it was today their off day. It might have been their off day. Whenever they get back in the gym to practice, working on the old press break, I'm sure is going to be pretty high on the old list. Yeah, and again, it's just kind of surprising, I think, that it was uh, has caused some issues just because Sam and Jazz and Maddie Kroll. But, yeah, yeah I mean, and – I remember um, those days in basketball practice. We're going to work press break today, guys. Yeah. Too many turnovers last week. Yep. So, um, but yeah, we'll see what she does about addressing it. And um, I don't know. I just, you'd think that they'd, they'd get it figured out. And it's almost two, again, it's like two games that they were, they got out to a big lead. And Maybe then it's they like relax. they 
I said I was. They Maybe just they relaxed a little bit. Yeah. They took the the foot off the gas because they were. They looked so sharp. I mean, we were texting about how. Gosh, what a great start! And they were shooting lights out, and they were that it was um, sharp. But then they just they they got a little loose, I think. And um, I think they just got to keep the pedal to the they metal. They were twenty to three. Yeah. Thinking that game last night. What's that? Oh, Casey just made another shot. <laughs> How about his game Sunday? Was that phenomenal? Oh my gosh, that is so fun. He's so fun to watch. I was there, I actually went, and um, it's just how many times have we said it, how he, his ability to light up a crowd, you know? And this team is still, they, boys, they still got some pieces that they could probably, a lot of teams probably don't want to face them because of a guy like Casey and, and Derek and Sam. So, yeah, I mean, uh, they still could probably be a thorn in some team side moving forward. And they've got some winnable games still left. They do. Um, tomorrow night will be tough. They go to Michigan. We're going to hear from the coach here in a little bit. He had a press conference before they got on the plane today. But Casey is a guy that a lot of people, I think, weren't sure that he could compete play at this level, that his size was going to be a hindrance and that he would be fine against some of the non-conference teams you play, but get him in the rough and tough Big Ten and, and he would be overwhelmed by the size. But he has adapted to that and now he's, I think, making teams adapt to him and his quickness and his ability to kind of slip screens and backdoor people and do those type of things. He's got such a quick release and I've always been told every, I mean, Fred Weaver probably can say it best. I know he's a little bit bigger, but like, if you can shoot the ball, there's teams will find a place for you. Most of the time, that's what most coaches and um, players say that if you can shoot it and you can shoot it at an elite level, every team needs that. Every team needs a shooter, and so um, I think it probably was an adjustment for him. But I think his shot. I think and. Probably something we should ask Coach Weaver, but I think his release has even gotten quicker from last year. He already had a quick release, so you better get on him from half court, and you better not give him an inch because he can pull it. And we saw a couple of those shots. I could not believe how quick he pulled it. And you know, it's just hard to guard that when when somebody's got that quick of a release. And so, um, yeah, I, I think it, he's figured out uh, more so how to get his shot off at this level. And a lot of times that's just an adjustment. He, he played in JUCO and shot it at a very high rate. And we, we've heard it over and over again how well he shoots it in the gym in practice from the time he stepped on campus. But I just think maybe in in-game situations, he's had to figure out how to continue to get his shot off effectively at this level. And I think he's, he's done that. Well, and I love, obviously, we all get – when he. Pulls it from the logo and shoots. That's always fun. I love the backdoor action because teams will overplay yep. him to try to take away that quick release. And then because you have a guy that's a good passer and Derek at the top of the key in the high post, you can backdoor in case they get those easy layups. I love that action. And you can't, teams can't help off of CJ because, and I know CJ hasn't shot it as well as he did last year, but he, he is, you still have to, that's in the game plan. That's in the scout because he can knock it down. And he shot it better the other day, right? Or no. Uh, so did Jamarcus. So, yeah, and Jamarcus. So you got two guys. Now you've got three guys on the court at once a lot of times, or at least two, that whoever is guarding those two guys can't really you know, shade off their guys to help protect the paint. So you can really spread teams out. And then you got, I mean, Wilhelm can knock it down too. I know he hasn't, <laughs> I know he hasn't done it very effectively, but he, he's shown that he can as well. And so, um, yeah, I just, I think that when you have that back toward cut is that's when it really becomes available when you can't help side defend on, on that kind of thing as well. It's just a beautiful play in basketball. Is that backdoor action, you get the layup off of it. All right, you've been around Casey. He's listed on the roster as six foot two. I'm throwing the I'm throwing the flag. I want a replay of that. He's not six foot two, is he? I'd say probably six foot six ish, yeah. Maybe a little over six. Andrew, six? Yeah, because I'm I pulled up the I pulled up the roster because somebody asked me today, go, how big is he? I was probably six and then they looked on their phone and they go, well, says he's 6'2", and I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't think he's 6'2". Yeah, um, but I just, I, you know, it's funny because I think he's a lot of people's favorite players just because of the passion and energy he plays with. It's fun to watch. It's contagious. And every time, you know, I've been to, out to practice or, or seen the warm-ups, you can just tell how much he's loved by the team. He's a great teammate. The team is just drawn to him, and, and they feed off of him. And we, he's really, he's really embraced this role, and, and, when you have one guy go down, okay, you got to have 
one guy step up. We have, have to have people step up to fill that role. And then two guys go down, you're like, uh-oh. But the fact that you're seeing so many guys rise to the challenge and rise to the occasion and Boy, they're thriving. Uh, you know, Jamarcus and Sam Weiberg and Casey is on his bigger role. And uh, we were up there talking in the press row about his Casey's most minutes that he had played was 23 minutes. And I, I don't know what it ended up the other day, but he was cramping by the end of it because he wasn't used to playing that many minutes. So I think, again, with each time out, with a lot of these guys, they're going to continue to grow and develop and, and be more comfortable in those roles that they're being asked to play. But it was well over 23 minutes, I can tell you that. I mean, I'm curious. I think he's like 33 the, or something. I don't, can't find Seamus's email, but I'll, I'll dig that out. But, yeah, and, and all those guys are having to play a lot more. Denham is having to play a lot more minutes yep. than he has before. But this is so invaluable, and Coach Hoiberg has mentioned this too. This is invaluable for these guys for their future in college basketball. We all wish they weren't getting this many minutes. We all wish that Emmanuel was out there, that Juwan was out there. But the reality is you got to do with what you, you got to play with who can play, and these guys are getting that chance to do that. And you're right. I think they be, they're quickly becoming a team people don't really want to see. No. I mean, they, look, Sam and Derek are such good leaders, and, and Derek Walker is one of the best bigs in this conference. And, gosh, he makes such good passes. He is such a good passer. Um, but who was our guy that was here last year? Lat. No, no, not Lat. The um, CBS or the analyst, the big college basketball analyst. who. Raftery? Was that who was here? No. He came to the opening night last year. I just. Oh, J John Rothstein. He, I John think Rossi. it was him that put out a tweet, buy stock in Jamarcus he did. Lawrence. You're right, he did. And um, absolutely, I, I just, I think he has just really been able to take off and um, he, his, he, his upside is so tremendous. Sure is. I cannot, it, his future is going to be fun to, to follow. First time it really dawned on me, and by the way, Casey played 31 yeah. minutes, that's a lot, uh, that Jamarcus Belong, it was a game we got hammered. It was the K-State game in Kansas City. And I was sitting in the arena watching him, and I go, you know what, though? His body language is telling me I belong. Mm -hmm. And it's like he knew he belonged on that floor, that he can play at this level. And I, I, I like seeing Jamarcus play. I think he's going to be a really good player. And I think the biggest thing that's the most impressive for him, yeah, he can knock down some shots, and that's what probably a lot of people take away. But most of the time, a lot of times, a great percentage of the time, freshmen are a liability on the defensive end. And he's one of the better defenders on yeah. the team. And Coach Hoiberg has said that from the start, that he's allowed, even when Emmanuel was there, he allowed for them to spell Emmanuel in some of those assignments because of his ability to do that. He is a great defender. And again, that's not something that a lot of freshmen pick up right away because they haven't had to play. But he comes from a, an elite high school. And so yeah, and he's such a great kid, and I think you know. Obviously, the future is very, very bright. But Sam Weber or, or Sam uh, Griesel, Derek Walker, yeah. But there are some pieces here that are really, really could be valuable for this program moving forward. Folks, First Interstate Bank built for you. Learn more at www.firstinterstatebank.com. Member FDIC. All right, you're on the program tonight. We're going to hear from Coach Hoiberg here in a couple of minutes. They flew to Ann Arbor tonight. They'll play Michigan tomorrow night. Early tip. 5.30 tips of 4.30 pregame coverage here on the network. Michigan got a nice one over the weekend. They beat Ohio State. They got big Hunter Dickinson in the middle. It'll be, he'll be a, a, a matchup nightmare for the Huskers tomorrow night. Coach Hoiberg will talk about that. Also this hour is Sua Lefotu. Lefo, Lefo, Lefotu. Lefotu. Yeah, Lefotu. Lefo, who is Lefotu. Yeah. It's Lefotu. Yeah. It, uh, you talked to him last week. He signed last week with the Husker football team. Big defensive lineman out of California. You had a chance to talk to him. We're going to let the folks hear that. Yes, and it's a fun conversation. Husker fans are going to like him, so I'm excited Good. for you guys to hear it. Good. He's not here. He's still going to high school. He'll come in the summertime. Unlike some of these guys, some of the high school kids that signed early are already on campus and going through the winter conditioning But what's girls. crazy is that, yes, it's been a trend for a while now, but with the guys that this staff is signing, they're multi-sport athletes. So a lot of these guys that they're signing are not going to be here in the winter because they're running track and right. they're playing basketball. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll still see some guys, but I think you might see less freshmen. I mean, you'll still see them every year, but I, I don't think it, there are times, a lot of times, where the entire recruiting class will come right. early, but I don't think that will ever be the case for this staff because they have too many athletes that are competing in other sports that are in the spring. Well, obviously the ones that signed last week 
are yeah, still in high not, school. Yeah. They're not here at yeah. all. So, well, so I'm looking forward to hearing from Sue coming up a little bit later on in the hour. And we want to hear from you. Phone lines, text lines open. Your thoughts about any of the topics of the day, 402 413-2400. That is our Sports Nightly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. They've got 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. Back with more of the show coming up. Hi, it's Sam McEwen from the Omaha World Herald. And I'm Amy Just from the Lincoln Journal Star. Hey, listen, HuskerExtra.com and the Husker Extra mobile app have the best coverage of Nebraska sports. Our reporting team shares features and analysis of all Husker sports, along with the latest recruiting news and more. Plus, Husker Extra subscribers have access to our exclusive podcast, The Showdown, where we share our latest insights and expectations. Go to HuskerExtra.com or search Husker Extra in your app store. Download and subscribe today. While some seed companies put a greater stake in stock prices and anonymous shareholders, Rob Seco knows that what's important to you hits closer to home. That's why you'll find we're focused on your needs. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, a relationship that makes it easy to connect with anyone in the company, and the technology, traits, and genetics you need from any source. Put your stock in the company that puts you first. Rob Seco. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Sam Pineda with Campus News. For the fifth straight year, the University of Nebraska system is a top 100 patent earning institution. NU system researchers were granted 43 patents in 2021, with UNL researchers named as inventors on 25 of these patents. Husker patents include three projects with partners at the University of Nebraska Medical Center and six patents for a surgical robot developed by faculty in the College of Engineering. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Hit us up on the text line, text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hello, tomorrow. We may not know exactly what you've got in store for us, for our routines and our normals. But here's the thing. Turns out, we've got this. We haven't seen everything, but we have seen ourselves be more ready for whatever you bring than we thought we would be. So when it comes to tomorrow... Bring on the day. First Interstate, built for you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Visit us at firstinterstate.com. At CHI Health Clinic, we believe healthcare should be personal because knowing your provider personally makes appointments more comfortable, more productive, and more meaningful to your overall health. Get matched with a primary care provider based on your personality and lifestyle using CHI Health Clinic's My Provider Match. Take the survey at myprovidermatch.com to find the right provider for you. Getting healthier starts by getting personal at CHI Health Clinic. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The thoughtfully redesigned 2023 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with up to 9.5 inches of ground clearance, more than Honda CRV or Toyota RAV4. The 2023 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of June 2022. Duto Subaru in Lincoln and DutoSubaru.com. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker Athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. SOS to the rescue, SOS to the rescue. 
As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so cold. The furnace is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. Purchasing your next vehicle has never been easier with Woodhouse Ford. Whether you are shopping in-store or online, we provide a stress-free, streamlined process that's tailored to meet your needs. The 2023 Ford lineup is packed with features to enhance your lifestyle. Whichever model you choose, there's a collection of standard and available options so your vehicle can be equipped to do whatever you want. Visit us in Blair, Omaha, and Plattsmouth or online anytime at woodhouse.com. Shop for your next vehicle when you want and where you want with Woodhouse Ford. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. It is a Tuesday night. Sports Island here on the Huskers Radio Network, our first show of the week. We had Husker women's basketball last night, men's basketball tomorrow night. Then the women back on the hardwood at PBA Thursday night at 7. We'll have a short show for you on Thursday night. Before the men departed earlier today for Ann Arbor, Fred Hoiberg met with the media and started out by talking about the challenges that Michigan posed for the Huskers tomorrow. Yeah, I think the thing where Hunter's game has really evolved is his perimeter game and his, his he gets sees a lot of different coverages. Some teams play him one-on-one. -on -one. Um, most teams have to double. <clears throat> just to uh, to have a, a fighting chance down there against him, but he's a really good passer, and he does a great job with the little retreat dribble. They dive, uh, they're four man, and they have great spacing on the backside. So he's obviously one of the toughest challenges that you have, and putting a game plan in just to try to throw different things at him where he's not seeing the same coverage for 40 minutes is very important. And you know, there's going to be an important game. Blaze will have to uh, be a factor in this game with his body. He was available last game. We just felt with Penn State and the way they played going small that we were better off with Wilhelm as the backup at the five. But Blaze is going to have to be ready to go out there and give us significant minutes. Um, you know, going to have to do a good job with our hands, uh, get good hand pressure. If not, he's going to pick us apart in the weak side where they have really good shooting uh, over there. So, you know, good opportunity to go on the road. We've got to come out with the same mentality we did against Penn State. Have to come out with some type of edge. Uh, they're very good in that building. Um, uh, Jet Howard is one of the most impressive freshmen that, that I've seen. And the way he scores at a three-level score with his size uh, makes it very tough. We've got to get back in transition, and we have to take care of the glass. They're really good crashing. And then, uh, you know, for us, taking care of the basketball. I think you saw in the last game, 17 assists, seven turnovers was a formula for winning. But if, if we turn it over, you don't have much of a chance on the road. It does start with Hunter Dickinson. I mean, when you're seven one, seven two, whatever he is, and he's, a, he's got good touch around the basket. So th th there's only a couple of these guys in the league, Edie at Purdue and, and Dickinson. It does cause a challenge because Derek's six nine. Yeah, he's undersized. You, or well, quote unquote undersized, he, yeah. and that's what a lot of people say. And um, and he's been told basically his whole life. But um, you know, since he started playing in the post. But I, I think he he's crafty. He you don't worry about it as much on the offense. But he can he can score on anybody. It doesn't right. matter the size. I think just with his footwork and the way he can do so many things. It's it's him matching up on the defensive end. He's got to stay out of foul trouble. That's he a big does. thing because a lot of times I think when he might be a little undersized against guys, he can pick up some cheap fouls early. And so that's to me a big key as well. Is he's got to play smart in in this kind of matchup. And if he were to get in trouble, or even not, as Fred alluded to in that first clip that Blaze needs to play better and play a lot. I mean, he's coming off that ankle, played, I think, 11 minutes against Illinois last week, didn't play against Penn State. You heard the coach just say it wasn't a great matchup. But w what, where is Blaze right now? Here's the coach kind of elaborating on the status of Blaze and that ankle. Yeah, I mean, he gave us some very important minutes early in, in the season. And, you know, when Derek missed those early games, Blaze gave us some, some really good minutes. A lot of those games were at home. And, you know, on the road with the crowd and the atmosphere and the noise, we have to do a good job of relaying things to him on the floor. And so when you look at, at some of the things he's done in our home building, he helped us win 
um, you know, quite a few games early on in the season. And it's too bad when he had his setback. But what I've seen in the last week is he's starting to get some explosiveness back. He, he's getting his lateral mobility back. And you look at our defensive analytics, we're pretty good with Blaze on the floor. So just have to uh, keep building with him. Uh, Coach Ernie is doing a lot of individual skill work with him to try to get him back in shape. Uh, gets here generally, you know, 45 minutes or an hour before practice and getting in some really good individual work. Him and Oleg will be down there together. So, uh, you know, it's, it's an, an important stretch for Blaze. These last uh, however many games we have, seven or eight games, uh, are important for Blaze to finish out the season strong. And the good thing is he's getting healthy again. But, you know, we weren't able to do a lot with Blaze when he had the ankle. He'd do some work. He'd have a setback. And those high ankle sprains are tricky. So, you know, it's good to have him back out there, hopefully healthy for the rest of the year. Yeah, I mean, I was literally just thinking that before he said it. Just those high ankle sprains. Those dang high ankle sprains are just such a nuisance for an entire... It's almost like if, if it happens, it's, it's the rest of the season you're going to deal with it. I mean, and then you think about the, there's also... Yeah, you're in shape, but then there's also basketball shape. And so now he's completely out of all of that um, because it's been so long. And so, yeah, he, it's just like just the roller coaster of getting close and then the little bit of a setback and then you lose all of the progress that you made each time that that happens but um, he's get, definitely would be a huge piece to get back with the losses to Juwan and Emmanuel and again matching up with some of these teams that has size when Derek Walker it's just it's gonna happen right I mean it's just happened too many times he's going to get in foul trouble and he can't play an entire game so to have Blaze be able to someone that you can come and you know Jeremiah was texting me about um, um, Wilhelm Breidenbach, and I, I just I think he can play the five, but I just don't think he's really comfortable there, you know. And I know that they've asked him to do that, and he's a team guy, and he'll say, "I'll do whatever the team needs me to do." But I, that's just not his. No, it's that's not. not his spot. It's not. And so, um, you know, he's good to have some to put there in some spells, but it's just not someone you want to have consistently playing the five. So getting Blaze back where you can move uh, Wilhelm back to where he feels more comfortable would be absolutely, I think, just massive for everybody involved. And I thought Blaze was making great strides in yeah. November and December, and then the ankle injury. So you want him, because you have another year of eligibility for him, you want him to keep progressing as a player so that she can be kind of a linchpin guy for next season. You need that out of Blaze. Yeah. And, Derek's gone. And as Coach said, I mean, he is, he's a defensive weapon. You know, I mean, we had a lot of those this year, right? We saw a lot of those on the floor for the Huskers. Juwan and Emmanuel yep. and then Jamarcus became that. But, yeah, I mean, he's he's just he's so hard protector. to get around. Yeah. I mean, he's, his arms are so long. His hands are big. I mean, he's just – that's what he, he does. And so, um, yeah, he's – Absolutely an asset there on the defensive end. We talked in the first segment about the young guns, Jamarcus, Denham, even Sam Hoiberg. That trio on the Penn State victory on Sunday combined for 22 points, 14 rebounds, 6 assists, 3 steals. They were terrific. That group was really, really good. Here's the coach talking about how valuable this time has been for those young Huskers. Yeah, I, it, it's, it's grown a lot. And, you know, I think you saw – at the end of that last game, I think we had three freshmen on the floor with uh, with Jamarcus hitting huge shot, made a great defensive play, made the big free throws at the end of the game. Um, you know, Sam having a great steal and, and a really good block out, knocking down free throws one and one after we had just missed the front end uh, on the two previous possessions. And Denham, everything he's doing for us right now defensively. I thought he played off of Derek well, getting himself lost on the baseline for a couple, uh, couple layups. And, yeah, those guys... You know, they've been thrown into the fire just based on what's happened with our roster. But we're comfortable with our young guys right now. They've made really good winning plays uh, when it matters most. And uh, they're going to continue to get opportunity and chances and, and just continue to take advantage of that. Imagine how much pub Sam Hoiberg would be getting. Uh, he would be getting more publicity, I think, if his dad wasn't the coach. He's played really well in some of these games. But, I, you know, Fred's got to be careful how much he praises his own son. But I'm proud of that kid. He's played well. Yeah, he, boy. And, again, just a, another guy that when we were talking about earlier, hey, here's an opportunity. What are you going to do with it? You know, and, and um, Ernie Ziegler, when he was on his show a couple weeks ago, he had said that. He said, you know, a lot of times, um, not saying anything about this 
this team, but a lot of times across the country, anywhere you're coaching, you have these young players that are like, oh, I, I need more playing time or disappointed about it. And then all of a sudden your time comes and they're not ready for it. Right. And, you know, so, hey, here's your opportunity. Look at these guys have been ready for it, you know, and um, they have really embraced it. And, hey, here's your chance. And they have da they've taken the bull by the horns. I've been so impressed. And, and again, it's not something that, you you can know you can be told especially as a young player hey you are just one injury away from being there how many times do we hear that with a quarterback situation a, a player a football situation but you're just you it's hard to mentally be ready i mean you could practice and and but they've been ready and these are young players at that these are not just and these are kids that have either just barely been in the program, uh, maybe a year and a half, a year, a semester. And so for the maturity, for them to show that and, and to be able to, and not just on the offensive end, but to also still stay locked in on the defensive end, um, I think it's just been really impressive. 5.30 tomorrow night, tip off, 4.30 for pregame coverage. KP's probably already at the arena, <laughs> set up and ready to go. KP and Jake will have the call. Folks, buckle up, put that phone down, a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. When we come back... Jessica's going to have a conversation with Sue Alefo, too, who signed with the Huskers last week, a defensive lineman out of California. We'll hear from him next. Do you want your date to wait for your interlock device to let you drive? Your kids to ask why you have an ankle bracelet? Or your boss to see your criminal history? Do you want to miss important life events because of house arrest? Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skechers shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series, drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exist to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. Double team gives to Hoiberg. Four seconds on the clock. Jamarcus Lawrence got it! I'm about to pass out. <laughs> Wednesday, Husker Hoops on the men's side take on Michigan in Ann Arbor. Pre-game coverage with Kent Pavelka and Jake Muehlheisen begin at 4.30 p.m. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall and Zone 6 in Exarbon Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. SOS to the rescue. SOS to the rescue. 
As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so cold. The furnace is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Dear gas prices, go take a hike. Toyota is the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. The Toyota hybrid lineup brings efficiency with power, savings with style, and top-notch tech to keep you connected. Not to mention plush premium interiors and the most advanced Toyota safety features. So, now you know who you're talking to. Toyota the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. Toyota, the brand with a hybrid or electric vehicle for every driver. Toyota, the brand that helps save you money at the pump. Now, let me ask you a question, dear gas prices. You really think you can stand in the way of the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years? <laughs> think again. Toyota hybrids. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Based on manufacturer estimates, CY 2000 through 2021 sales. Your story, it lives in River City, where you can enjoy a metropolitan vibe and a small town feel, where we set the standard for service and looking out for one another, where there's so much more than steak in our thriving food scene. Your story is the story of Omaha, told by those who live it and love it. Whether that's helping you keep up with the Cornhuskers or creating the content you crave, and here in the Omaha World Herald is where it comes to life. Omaha World Herald, where your story lives. We're back on our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Tuesday night. We're here until the top of the hour, and then Matt Coatney, Amy Williams will be here for our women's basketball show for the week. I think it's been two weeks since the coach has been in studio, but she'll take your calls, comments, questions in hour number two. Last Wednesday was National Signing Day number two. Huskers added five high school student athletes to the class for the football class, one of those being Sua Lefotu, who is a defensive lineman from California. He's one of the last to commit to this class. Jessica had a chance to catch up with him. Well, welcome in. Thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations. How did it feel to officially sign that letter of intent and become a Oscar today? Uh, thank you for having me. Um, it felt really great to be able to sign with the with Nebraska and then become a Cornhusker. Uh, you know, I've been really looking forward to finding a school that, that was meant for me and I felt like home and I was able to, to develop me into the player that I want to be. And I felt like that's where, or I felt like that's what Nebraska could do for me. So I was really excited and, and, and honored to sign my letter in 10. So you had an offer and then you came here to visit. Take me through when you came here to visit, what sold you, what did you feel when you came here on campus here in Lincoln, Nebraska? I'm going to be honest. It was it was a lot of the uh, the, the coaching staff, of course, and the, and the people around. You know, it, Lincoln's a pretty not small town, but it's pretty small compared to what I've grown up in, grown up in, and um, you know, the coaches really made me feel like at home. I, they made me feel like I could really trust them, and they made me feel like they were going to be ready to develop me into the player that I want to be, and develop me into a player that I can produce what the coaches need for us to be successful. So it was that and uh, the academics as well. I, I really trust the academics and uh, the way that they run their things are very uh, sharp and, uh, and um, excellent. So I'm, I was really excited for that as well. Very well said. Do you have a area of study that you want to do yet or are you still going to figure that out? As of right now, I want to uh, major in business, but I'm pretty sure as I, as I go along, down the road, I, I might change it if I find something 
else that I'm interested in. But uh, as of right now, it's um, business. Very cool. Well, I know one of the things you talked about is you got a chance to sit down with defensive coordinator Tony White. What was that conversation like, getting to sit down and, and get to know him? Oh, it was really great. I really, I really enjoyed talking to Coach White, and uh, I was really thankful for him to come down and be able to have a, a home visit with us and for us to be able to come into Lincoln and talk to the coaching staff as well as Coach White. But uh, it, it was a really uh, good experience. Coach White is a really good man. He's a really good coach, and, uh, and I, I appreciate everything he's done for me. But uh, talking to him and getting to know him was really well and really good. You had mentioned there at the beginning your first answer about, you know, you believe that the staff could develop you. And, you know, that's been something that they've said since they've been hired. Every coach that comes in, that's really important to them to be able to develop players. But for a lot of players, they want to come in and play right away. So why was that so important to you to, to have someone, have a staff that you know is going to develop you into the player that you could be? It's really important to me because, the first three years of my high school career, I was unable to play real big-time football. So this, my senior year was my very first time ever playing, like, real big-time football. And so I'm, all, I'm just on the brink of, of, my, of, my, uh, of my uplift. And coming in, talking to Coach Knighton and Coach White and, and, and the experience that they have, I'm really trustworthy into their, their capabilities of – Develop me into the player that I want to be because I believe that my best football is ahead of me, and I want my best football ahead of me to be at Nebraska. So that was that was a really big uh, impact. Oh, that's amazing! Great answer. You were hurt, right? Which is why kind of kept what kept you off the field, kept you sidelined for a little while. How much perspective do you have an appreciation to play the game because you had to battle back and and battle through some injuries? I'm sorry, could you repeat that one more time? You talked about how you, you really only played your senior year. You, you battled through injuries, right? So uh, that kept you sidelined some throughout your high school career. How much, uh, I guess, perspective and appreciation do you have to play for the game, being that you did have to battle through some injuries to get back to play in and be where you could be recruited and play at this level? Well, I appreciate it a lot. You know, uh, there was a lot of players that were at Bosco when I was there, and just being on the sidelines, being able to, to learn from them, and to, to see how exceeded in um, everything that they, they did made me want to exceed as much as they did and then uh, apply it to what I wanted to do. So I really appreciate – I kind of appreciate the injury as well because it, it's taught me a lot about the knowledge of football and everything like that. Very cool. Well, for fans – from Nebraska that are listening in that might not have seen you play, might not have seen your film, what do you like out there on the football field? Oh, me? Uh, you know, I'm pretty big. You know, I, I know people look at my, my weight and probably say, oh, man, that guy can't, probably can't move. But I see myself as a very uh, very athletic person who can move. I'm very strong. I'm very quick. And uh, I can make a really good impact on the field. You know, I'm very violent in uh, and years. Well, it all starts in the trenches, right? Uh, how excited are you to play in the Big Ten, where uh, obviously so important to be good. It's, it's important everywhere to be good, but really, really important in the Big Ten to be good up front. How excited are you for that challenge? Oh, I'm really excited. You know, it's definitely going to be a challenge. You know, anywhere that any athlete goes to, you're going to have to work your butt off to, to be in the position that you want to be in. How I grew up was we have to work for everything that we want. So when I come into Nebraska, I'm going to be ready for that. I mean, I'm really excited to be able to, to work with people who are going to be pushing me as much as I'm going to push them. And just being, a, being able to be a part of the Big Ten and the, the people who are going to challenge me is, is, is going to be great. Well, what's it been like developing a relationship with Terrence Knighton? The Dancing oh, Bear, really well. right? The Dancing Bear, Pop Roast? Oh, yes. Yes, it's, it's, been, really, it's been really well. You know, I really enjoy Coach Knight. I, I really like the way that he coaches. I like the way that he goes about his things. And and the, my relationship with him is, is it, it just started, but it's, it's going to be going up from here. And I'm really excited to, to uh, experience that with him. Do you like Pot Roast? You know that's his nickname, right? Yes. Do, are, so are you a fan of Pot Roast? Uh, I haven't had good Pot Roast. So, <laughs> I mean, if, I, if I'm around with Coach Knight, then... Uh, Maybe we can go go and enjoy some good pot roast. 
Oh, that's awesome. Well, I know when we were communicating about setting up this interview, you had talked about how you were going to have a, a celebration with your family uh, today. So how special has that been for you? Because I know it's everybody's dream that, that plays high school football to be able to sign a letter of intent like what you did today. So how special was it for you to get to celebrate with your family today? Oh, it was very special. I know it was very special to my parents as well as my grandparents and everybody else that's here celebrating with us because in my family, I'm going to be the very first boy in our family to be able to go to college, to be able to get a degree, to be, wow. to be able to experience the things like that, and to be able to be on a big screen for the Big Ten to be able to play football. So I know that they're very proud. I'm very proud of myself as well. And, uh, yeah, we, we're just – we're really uh, thankful. You know, we thank God for all the blessings that he's given to us. And, um, and yeah. Wow, super impressive answer. Love that. Well, do you have a Super Bowl pick? I mean, were you a 49ers fan? Can you give us a breakdown who you pick in Eagles or Chiefs? Do you do you care? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, my family we, we go for the Raiders, so uh, okay, that's kind of uh, down the drain right now. But uh, <laughs> as of right now, one of my one of my aunts that I, I really love and I have a really good relationship with is an Eagles fan. So you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Eagles for the Super Bowl. All right. I'm with you. I got the Eagles as well. Uh, Sue, thank you so much oh, yeah. for your time. Can't wait to have you here in Lincoln. I know Husker fans are going to love you and love hearing from you here today. No, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a uh, good rest of your day and go be great. Greg, he was, you were uh, really liking him until that last yeah, answer, done. right? Sue is the on, Eagles? He's on the list now. <laughs> what an How impressive was, guy. Right? I tried to tell you that after I talked to him. I'm like, I was blown away. He was great. We had a little issues connecting. That's why, uh, if you're watching on our YouTube stream, um, we just had to do a freeze frame because um, he was out celebrating with his family. So, but he was awesome. He's so great to deal with setting up the interview. All these, the three inter interviews that I did this week, uh, the the guys from Arlington Martin and then Sua, they were so fantastic. Getting back to me. Sometimes those. Uh, oh, yeah. High school seniors will yeah. ghost me, but those guys were all great, and so it was so impressive. I mean, there are so many things that I, I took away that I, I, I was just like, wow, wow, wow. But to me, I think the biggest thing that I heard that I was impressed with, because a lot of times these seniors, they want to come in and play right away, but we've heard with this staff how big the development part of it is. And he said that without me even asking it, like that was one of the reasons why he wanted to come here. He's like, because I believe in how they're going to develop me as a player because I need that. And he understands that that's, he needs to be developed and that he's very, very play a lot of high school ball. So um, I was really impressed with that answer. And, and I know that that's, the staff will, will love that as well. It's so hard, people, to come in as an offense or defensive lineman and mm -hmm. play at this level. You just you got to cook a little bit more. You're not ready <laughs> physically to handle these great big bodies that you go up against. So he's got the right mindset. He even knows how to sign off with a right? go big red. How about that? I know. I mean, just hey, he set the bar high. As, sure did. And now I know. Like that's another thing too. When I do these recruit interviews, I'm like penciling it down in a special notebook of okay you got to interview that kid that's a that's a solid interview that's who you need to go to post game that's cool right but Very good. No, he was awesome good to have sue a part of the family folks check out the husker extra mobile app from the team at lincoln journal star it's the best place for everything husker sports search the app store for husker extra and download it today phone lines back open for you at 402-413-2400 call or text back to wrap up hour one next Nebraska women's basketball offers one of the best values in all of Husker sports with single game reserve tickets at Pinnacle Bank Arena for just $15. Adult general admission seating is just $10, while youth and senior general admission tickets are $5. Children six and under are just a buck. Plans now to bring your whole family to Husker women's basketball for Big Ten home games in January and February. Get your tickets and the full schedule at Huskers.com. Husker fans, this is Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. You've probably heard about NIL, name, image, and likeness, and now you can have an immediate impact on the success of our programs. The 1890 Initiative is a proud NIL company in Nebraska, and with your help, we can maximize our student-athletes' opportunities with NIL and prepare them for life after college. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics. Let's do the same with NIL. To learn more, visit 1890Nebraska.com, where 100% of your donation goes directly to Husker student-athletes. That's 1890Nebraska.com. 
Experience a better kind of used vehicle with Woodhouse Chevrolet when you shop our certified pre-owned inventory. Take advantage of our current certified pre-owned specials and save at Woodhouse Chevrolet. Receive 0.9% APR for 36 months or 3.9% APR for 60 months on select certified pre-owned vehicles. Explore our certified pre-owned inventory at our dealership in Missouri Valley, Iowa or online anytime at woodhousegm.com. Find new roads when you shop at Woodhouse Chevrolet. WAC, TTL, Miss Woodhouse, which is financial expires 331-2023. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Agriculture is the economic engine of the Midwest. At Acres Equipment, we dedicate ourselves to making that engine run smoothly. We supply our farmers and ranchers with quality John Deere equipment, parts, and service. We also deliver the most advanced technology and precision ag strategies to help them farm today and for the future. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. A DUI is everything you didn't prepare for. You did not save for it. You did not train for it. You did not go to school for it. You did not raise your family or buy a house or get a job for it. It is not your life goal or a dream come true. You have planned for everything in your life. You did not plan for a DUI. Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Sports Highly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie back with you for just a couple more minutes. We'll hand it off to Matt Coatney, Amy Williams for the Women's Basketball Hour show at the top of the hour. So get your comments, questions ready for them. The Oscars coming off a 12-point win last night over Northwestern. Have a big matchup with the Illini Thursday night at PBA at 7 o'clock. Um, we're gonna, next week, we're gonna, you've been working on a new nutrition podcast, and you're going to talk to the new strength coach, right, for the Huskers. Yes, I sat down with Corey Campbell and probably going to be dropping that podcast uh, this week, maybe tomorrow or Thursday. So that will be coming out. And um, he was, I mean, again, it's just it's crazy. Every coach you talk to, it's kind of the same messaging, right? I mean, this is a staff that's on the same page, and he's part of it. And we dive into his, his backstory, and he's, he played college football. He was a walk-on at Georgia, but... He um, is one of the few guys on the staff that didn't actually play for Coach Rule, but uh, was hired by Coach Rule at Baylor, and um, he's I'm impressive. And, I mean, I, he's going to get those guys right, and he already is. I, I've been going through some video, uh, watching some of the workouts to cover some of this podcast, and um, he's, you could tell he's, he's going to get the job done in the weight room. Matt Rule last week made some comment about we're coming up on Matt week. Any idea what that is? I think it's a pretty intense workout deal. Yeah, I don't know. I saw some of it labeled, some of the footage, but I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is either. I didn't know whether Corey told you in your interview what no, it was. No, I didn't, I didn't dive into a lot of that. And, you know, some, some of it is maybe a little secret. They don't want to give away some of true, it away. True, no, but, that's probably true. Um, and I had talked to him actually last week, so they were just kind of getting started. And so I didn't. Um, we kind of more so do dove into his backstory and, like, what what's the goals of this team right now and especially too I mean this is uh, such an important time an important part of establishing a culture and it's a new staff and so you got to get a lot done here for this new staff here in this spring or this winter workout I still see him walking around with water jugs oh everywhere you go you know uh, a football player because they got a massive water jug they're walking around with I kinda feel sorry for him. Andrew's got to bring his back to, to fit in with the crowd he's gonna do the uh uh, the these, ticker? No, these yoga yoga uh, sessions with me. You're going to do a yoga session? Sure. We, we, the new company we're working for, they offer these yoga, daily yoga mm. workouts. So, Andrew's I will not me. be doing yoga. He, he's clearly lost the push-up challenge. So Yes. He's, and the 40 challenge. No, he still did, He thinks your clock was off on the 40 <laughs> challenge. Slow, slow clock. Folks, buckle up. Put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. No show tomorrow. Men's basketball. They play in Michigan tomorrow night. We'll be back with you for a short show on Thursday night because we have Husker women's basketball back on the hardwood against the Fighting Illini Thursday night at PBA at 7 o'clock. So enjoy the, the uh, women's basketball show coming up next hour. Enjoy the men's game tomorrow night. We're back with you on Thursday's show. Good night. Hit us 
up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Since 1993, Dakota Mac has offered fixed long-term ag real estate loans perfect for any stage of life. The rebellious 15-year loan, the here for laundry 20-year loan, and the 30-year loan who thinks they can tell you a thing or two about parenting. Whatever your needs, trust Dakota Mac with your legacy. Hi, it's Nick Reno from Dakota Mac. Please call me at 308-380-7564 to learn all about our competitive rates on ag real estate loans. Every day, Central Valley Ag works with our farmers to feed a hungry planet. CVA's Elite Acre gives growers assurance of profits and margins in volatile global markets. Manage your risk. Lock in your ROI through CVA's Elite Acre program. Learn more and register to win 500 gallons of CVA's Ruby Diesel when you go online to cvacoop.com. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Double team gives to Hoiberg. Four seconds on the clock. Jamarcus Lawrence got it! Bang! 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 Jay Lawrence, I'm about to pass out. <laughs> Wednesday, Husker Hoops on the men's side take on Michigan in Ann Arbor. Pre-game coverage with Kent Pavelka and Jake Muehlheisen begin at 4.30 p.m. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. The name on the mailbox may say Smith, Myers, Baumgartner, or Johnson, but when you choose to plant with Rob Seco, it includes your name too, making you a stockholder in a company that's invested in you. With the simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, relationships that bring more to the table, the technology, traits, and genetics that take on local conditions, and people with the know-how to use it. And Rob Seco, the only stockholder we listen to is you.
This is the Nebraska Women's Basketball Show with head coach Amy Williams. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Strom moving left to right at the head of the key, gives to Franklin, who moves right to left, spins around Ooh. Widener, and Widener blocks it. Big time block for Allison Widener. Ooh. That is filthy right there by Allison Widener. At top board, high lob underneath for Mendelssohn, catches it, and she scores off the assist for Izzy Moore. I'll tell you what, she is making immediate impact. Markowski, Shelly, and Moriarty, Huskers lead by one, just under two minutes to go in the third. Heidi down the right lane line, challenges and scores. Put it up over Hatsa Leonti. Shelly to throw it in baseline left, into Markowski, back to Jazz, three pointers, you betcha! Deep left corner off the screen assist from Markowski. Board series for Nebraska. Hivey around a Mendelssohn screen. Deep right side, Izzy Ford three. Yeah! Betcha! That's a Central Valley A3 from Izzy Ford off the assist from Hivey. Stand up, Husker fans. This is a great win for Nebraska. They knock off previously undefeated Kansas. Their second win over a top 20 team this year. And the Huskers in three overtimes defeat Kansas 85 to 79 tonight in Lincoln. Here is your host, Matt Coveney, on the Huskers Radio Network. Hour two of Sports Nightly tonight for your listening and Viewing pleasure is the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Show, and the elegant Amy Williams is sitting across from me. We've not done this in a couple of weeks. I'd ask you how you are, but you know, I know how you are. You and I have spent a lot of time together recently, haven't we? Yes, we we get a lot of time this time of year. But an elegant coming straight from practice, I don't know if that ever really describes what. Oh, always, <laughs> always elegant. We're going to take your phone calls and your text at 402-413-2400. Tonight, Huskers coming off a, a solid road win at Northwestern last night, 78 to 66. They've won a couple in a row. Uh, if you want to save money and just get rid of your health insurance, come to these Nebraska women's basketball games because if you don't have a heart attack, you're fine. I'm not going to have to do my yearly physical. And people say to me all the time, oh, my gosh, you yell, you bet you, and you get all crazy, and how do you not have a stroke? And I'm, look, if I've survived these last couple of games, and you as a fan have, you're fine. <laughs> last night, Nebraska gets out to a 30-15 to 15 lead, yeah. looking good in the second half. Here came the turnovers, but you know what? I have told people all day, you get a road win in this league, Man, it is, it is time to celebrate, although you don't have a lot of time to celebrate. But how did you feel about that game last night? Yeah, I thought uh, there were flashes where we were playing the best basketball we've seen this team play this year. And then some flashes where it felt like we were not going to get the ball across half court. And so um, just kind of... Uh, we've been really striving towards trying to get to putting together 40 minutes. I don't think last night was it. Um, but we are extremely happy that we did the things we needed to do to get a road win. And we talk all the time about being able to um, convert bunnies and make free throws and um, rebound on the road if you want to give yourself a chance to win. And so uh, to win the rebounding battle in dominating fashion, um, there at Northwestern and to knock down free throws down the stretch when we really needed to to secure the win. I'm, I'm proud of the uh, determination that it took to do that. You know, Jeff Grish, uh, my broadcast partner on our games and the team's media relations director, really had a great stat that kind of foretold what was going to happen last night. Uh, last night was the fourth straight win over Northwestern. In the three wins, Northwestern had won the turnover battle by over 40 turnovers, but the Huskers had out-rebounded Northwestern by well over 20. And you think turnovers are so important in games, and I'm not trying to say they're not, but the rebounding in this series has told the tale. You were plus 15 last night in rebounding, and turnovers you were, let me see, carry the two, minus 700. <laughs> uh, Best three years of my life were eleventh grade, so we'll just forget about me trying to do live math here. But 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 why why is rebounding so important? It sounds silly because it's important against everybody, but particularly when Northwestern has had so much luck in turning Nebraska over the last few years, why is rebounding 
been kind of the elixir to still win those games? Because Northwestern is really good. Um, they're used to forcing turnovers and turning those turnovers into points when they can get out and run in transition. And that transition can be sparked from turnovers, but it also can be sparked from, um, you know, really grabbing rebounds, being able to run. So if we can find ways to crash the offensive glass, put the ball into the basket, that helps us to set our defense and take away some of their transition attack offensively um, but uh, finishing those defensive possessions they have some um, really good players that understand when they crash boards they kick out they hit those dagger threes on second chance points and when you can take that uh, away and eliminate that from their arsenal as well um, it really helps keep that score low 402-413-2400 is the number if you'd like to text or call the show today and come support the women's basketball team as we pack PBA on February the 18th against the Iowa Hawkeyes. Join the Omaha World Herald, Lincoln Journal Star, Husker Extra, and Bex Hybrids in helping the Nebraska women's basketball team pack PBA. Coach Williams and the Huskers want you there to give them a home court advantage against the Iowa Hawkeyes on February the 18th. Purchase your tickets at Huskers.com. Roger, text into the show and uh, on our Hotline at 402-413-2400. He says, big ups to the Huskers getting the win last night at PBA against MSU. And, uh, well, I had the text up here. There it is. He says, uh, moving ahead, super effort by Izzy and company, keeping the composure in the face of such adversity. Yes, there were other turnovers. Happy to take the win last night. Go Big Red. Roger, your team um, twice now in the last week, the – the game against Michigan State, which we'll get to, in which they made a huge rally, and against Northwestern. I asked you this on the on the post game show. I don't think you were ready for for this take on it. You know, if you had to survive against Michigan State, and then you had to survive after having a lead against Northwestern, it's not what you want to do, obviously. But in some ways, is that kind of telling your team that we can overcome? You know, adversity, stay together even when it looks tough that we can still win this thing when, when times get tough late? Yeah, I mean, I think there's definitely something to facing adversity and then to come out on top and to, to close the door with, you know, finding things that you can control to, um, to do what you need to do to, to come out with a win. And, and I think um, our team knows and understands what those things are now. And obviously, we know the things that are getting us into trouble um, to to cause kind of that lack of being able to put together complete ball games and uh, we'll just con continue to keep working on that aspect of it and and trying to be deceptive and take care of the ball and be strong with it and make smart basketball plays but um, I'm proud of uh, the way they dug deep and did the things to hold on and and have proved them to, to themselves that uh, we know what to do to win. This is the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Show. I'm Matt Coatney. That's Amy Williams. And our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions for every field. One of our longtime listeners and regular texters into our show at 402-413-2400 is Art in Los Angeles. He says, elegant. Matt, thank you for saying the perfect word describing Amy Williams. Here's a few more. Classy, magnificent, graceful, and stylish. See you at the Final Four game in Dallas. Go Big Red. Man, that's a great uh, – Andrew, our producer, loves that. Right there. <laughs> wow, thank you, Art. That's, um, that's humbling, and I appreciate the text, but um, also I just love his continued belief in our program. Yeah, he, he really does. So mm – -hmm. Let's talk about that start last night. I had said when Izzy got the first basket of the game, I said when Izzy Bourne starts off well, the whole team seems to start off well. She had nine first quarter points, yet 30 points in the first quarter. Why is it when Izzy starts well, does it seem like the whole team seems to just flow better? Is there is any thoughts on that? Uh, my thoughts on that, Matt, are um, one of our 
core values that we talk about all the time in our program. It's on our circle of success. It, it's, you know, is consistency. And um, Izzy epitomizes consistency and the way that she comes to work and the way that she, so she's one of those people that really um, her teammates and our whole program, our coaching staff just feels like we can depend on. And so when she comes out of the gate and proves to us early that, hey, come my way because I'm ready to go and I'm focused and I'm with it and I'm, you know, that um, dependability that, that we all kind of have, have come to really uh, rely on Izzy for, it just uh, shines through. And, and I thought Jazz did a phenomenal job of, of finding Izzy early um, in that zone, you know, where we wanted to attack in, in certain areas. I thought she, she understood and was locked in and, and found Izzy for a couple of easy baskets that Izzy capitalized on, and it really got our whole team going. 402-413-2400, if you'd like to call or text the show, Amy Williams is with us for the whole hour. I thought a key part of the game, especially when you got going, was uh, Northwestern's Paige Mott getting two very quick fouls. Um, I would think it's a nightmare trying to guard Mott. He's, she's not a tall big, but she's certainly sturdy and plays on the inside extremely well. And then they've got Kaylee Walsh, who is tall, big. And while she plays the inside pretty well, man, you got to take her all the way out to about 28 feet. You've got two posts and Markowski and Bourne. How big was it that Mock got those two early fouls and, and to you guys to getting that 15-point lead? Yeah, I mean, I think that was critical and, um, you know, really important. And one of those uh, early fouls, I thought Lex did a great job of just being aggressive. And then one, she got a moving screen called and on the on the other end. But, um, but that kind of uh, just changes the matchups a little bit and the lineups and the way that we can attack. And so um, I thought that was uh, important. She had been really hot, scored in double figures, had like a 23-point outing at maybe Ohio State or Maryland a mm -hmm. couple of games right before that. She was really playing in rhythm, and we had talked a lot about that in our scouting report and preparation for Northwestern. And so um, for her uh, to... She played again in the first half and picked up her third foul in very limited time. But for her, for her to be limited really helped spark our team. 402-413-2400 if you'd like to be on the show tonight. Come support the women's basketball team as we pack PBA on February the 18th against the Iowa Hawkeyes. Join the Omaha World Herald, Lincoln Journal Star, Husker Extra, and Bex Hybrids in helping the Nebraska women's basketball team Pack PBA. Coach Williams and the Huskers want you there to give them a home court advantage against the Iowa Hawkeyes on February the 18th. Purchase your tickets at Huskers.com. And uh, coming up next for Nebraska is a home game against the Fighting Illini of Illinois. That's on Thursday. Uh, today is, I don't know what date it is, Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me give you a little tip here, friends. If you want to know what day it is in the calendar, don't ask anybody in college basketball. We'll tell you it's two days from our next game. That's, it's a day that ends in the letter Y. But Amy Williams and I will be giving tickets away with a trivia contest coming up in just a few minutes. Uh, we, uh, I thought we had a phone caller, but we don't. So back to the text line. Eric in South Carolina, and uh, he says... Jazz is an absolute warrior, rarely comes out of games, best on ball defender on the team, and often seems to draw the toughest opposing guard to defend and runs the offense on the team. That's a pretty good rundown of what Jazz so it's, Yeah. Man, that's, that's a heck of a job <laughs> description, isn't it? It's a heck of a job description. So, Eric, I really appreciate the text and for you to be making mention to that. I think um, a lot of people really tend to focus in on point production and, and sometimes they'll notice Jazz for her passing ability because she really does kind of get a lot of people involved um, on our team. But uh, for people to be taking notice of the fact that she does often draw um, 
the toughest uh, assignment on the other side and just um, defensively she's a really high IQ defender and um, makes plays for our team there gets deflections and tips and last night had four blocked shots in um, the game just being smart with her timing and um, so I think uh, she really has the ability to affect the game on both sides of the floor which is why you know we really have a hard time taking her off the court. Last night she has Shelly in uh, 37 minutes had what I call your classic Jazz Shelley stat line, meaning she filled the whole stat sheet. 12 points, 8 rebounds, 6 free throws, 7 assists, a career high tying, 4 blocks. Uh, a lot of people have been talking lately about, you know, she's not been scoring as much, maybe not hitting as many shots, but I look at the game she has last night, especially when you talk about defense, because I think if, if people are looking just at Jazz Shelley's offense, they don't really recognize just what an incredible player she is. Her four block shots last night really affected the game. And, you know, even if Jazz's numbers aren't always great, and she's at the top of everybody's scouting report, her defense just by itself is special, right? Yeah, it is. It, it really is. It makes a difference for our team. It sparks our team. But, and oh, by the way, you know, um, she did go over a thousand career points, and that's pretty special. And she also um, became, I think, top 12 in Nebraska history in three point field goals made um, last night in the game. So, um, you know, obviously she's still doing. You know, lots of things to spark us offensively, but um, but the the well-rounded package, the rebounding, the defense, the block shots, the deflections, the tips, the um, assists, the just understanding game plan. You know, all of those things just they just really matter. You want to give away some tickets to Thursday night's game? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, now if you have the correct answer to this, text. Don't call, text on your text machine. If you don't have a text machine, call your 13-year-old teenager. They've got a text machine. 402-413-2400 for four tickets to uh, the Huskers in Illinois. And make sure that you give your full name on the text so we know who to give these to. So the trivia question tonight, Alexis Markowski is climbing Nebraska's single season top 10 list. He's now got 11 double doubles this season. So for those four tickets, text 402-413-2400, which former Husker owns the school record for double doubles in a season? I'll give you a hint. It was not Amy Gusso. <laughs> Definitely not Amy Gusso. You yeah. don't think so? No. <laughs> so, which former Husker owns the school record for double doubles in a season? 402-413-2400. Text your answer in, and when we return, we'll give four tickets away as the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Hour returns in a few moments. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Sam Pineda with Campus News. UNL has been awarded over $14 million by the U.S. Department of Commerce to expand robotics research and teaching spaces, part of a $25 million award given to the state of Nebraska to advance robotics research. The funding will allow the university to educate and train the next generation of Nebraska workers, entrepreneurs, and innovators for careers of the future. Woodhouse Nissan is bringing the dealership to you with Nissan at Home. Shop our brand new 2023 lineup online with transparent pricing and financing options readily available at your convenience. Once you're ready for a test drive, we'll deliver the vehicle of your choice to you anytime, anywhere. Plus, our sales team will be there to guide you every step of the way, answer any questions, and get you on the road faster. Start your car buying journey online and enjoy the dealership experience from home with Woodhouse Nissan. Husker fans, this is Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. You've probably heard about NIL, name, image, and likeness, and now you can have an immediate impact on the success of our programs. The 1890 Initiative is a proud NIL company in Nebraska, and with your help, we can maximize our student-athletes' opportunities with NIL and prepare them for life after college. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics. Let's do the same with NIL. To learn more, visit 1890Nebraska.com, where 100% of your donation goes directly to Husker student-athletes. That's 1890Nebraska.com. Farmers can make what seems impossible reality with a little hard work and ingenuity. 
they find solutions to reduce inputs and improve their yield. Valley Irrigation is no different. As the leader in irrigation technology, we deliver results and optimize your operation. Because when you have a vision for the future, you need the people that can make it possible by your side. Expect what's next. Expect what's possible from Valley. Visit us at valleyirrigation.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Hello, tomorrow. We may not know exactly what you've got in store for us, for our routines and our normals. But here's the thing. Turns out, we've got this. We haven't seen everything, but we have seen ourselves be more ready for whatever you bring than we thought we would be. So when it comes to tomorrow, bring on the day. First Interstate, built for you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Visit us at firstinterstate.com. At CHI Health Clinic, we believe healthcare should be personal because knowing your provider personally makes appointments more comfortable, more productive, and more meaningful to your overall health. Get matched with a primary care provider based on your personality and lifestyle using CHI Health Clinic's My Provider Match. Take the survey at myprovidermatch.com to find the right provider for you. Getting healthier starts by getting personal at CHI Health Clinic. Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates apply and may vary by carrier. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Pickup truck, sports car, motorcycle, minivan, townhouse, two-story, farmhouse, fixer-upper. What you drive and where you live is different for everyone, so it's important to have insurance that fits your needs and is just right for you. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that, which is why our agents help you design a comprehensive auto, home, and life insurance plan. Insurance that fits just right. See shelter agent Josh Aarons in Kearney, Scott Vermas in La Vista, or Dennis Malloy in Bellevue today. Welcome back to the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Hour. I'm Matt Coatney with the coach, Amy Williams, and we have a winner in our ticket giveaway. It was not an easy question. We had some various answers, but Mark Domit, I hope, Mark, I hope I'm saying that correctly, D-O-M-E-T, is our winner. The question was, Alexis Markowski is climbing Nebraska's single season top 10 list with 11 double-doubles this year. Which former Husker owns a school record for double-doubles in the season? The answer is Kelsey Griffin, who was the national runner-up for player of the year. She had 20 double-doubles in 2009-2010. Did you have that answer, Amy, Did, when, you, when I first asked the question? I had a couple of guesses, and Kelsey was among them. Yeah. So. I would have thought Karen Jennings would have I been pretty high up there. Immediately where my thought went Maybe to. Maybe Mortise Ivy. Yeah. Jordan Hooper. Right. Yeah. But Kelsey Griffin. So, uh, Mark, our producer, Andrew, is letting you know how you could pick up your tickets. And congratulations. Uh, let's go to our text line at 402-413-2400. And this is Sue Galvin says, hi, Amy. So proud of you and the Huskers. So happy Kennedy is joining your team, Sue Galvin. 
And then Jim in Columbus, I was listening to and watching the Nebraska game on TV. I was watching you, Amy, after some calls not going your way. Uh, I don't know who would want to mess with you. He's talking about you seem to get upset there. Um, I was sitting right behind Coach Williams where she stands. I try not to get in her way during the game usually. It's tough, though. when you're. This is your life, right? And, um, you know, it, you don't really see any coaches standing and surveying the whole game when it, when it gets pretty tough. Um, do you ever go back and watch your games and, and, and look at how things go and – you know, did, do you still get as fired up when you watch it on tape as you did on the sidelines live sometimes? Sometimes I do. I yeah. find myself smacking my desk when I'm re-watching the film. But um, uh, I also see so many times where I'm like, oh, was I having an out-of-body experience over there? Because I do not remember doing that. But um, it is kind of an emotional situation when you're passionate about your team. I love this group of girls. I love yeah. how hard they work. I know how much they put into it and um, they fight really really hard for each other and I want to be right there next to them fighting for them as well and and um, it, yeah S just hope that we don't break off any heels this year so <laughs> 402-413-2400 if you'd like to text or call the show Dorothy Lynch homestyle and light and lean dressing endless flavor abilities so Talk a little bit more about the game last night. A 30 to 15 lead at the end of the first quarter, and then the second quarter was like they put two different teams out on the floor. It was 10 to 7 Northwestern in the second. What changed after the first quarter? Well, um, one thing we we had a little foul trouble ourselves, yeah. and I thought we had some really good looks in the second quarter. I thought um, we made some pretty good full court passes, had some looks in the paint, and didn't just didn't finish, just didn't finish, you know, great looks, and then. Um, you know, it's just uh, just a little uh, different pace in the in the ball game. They switched their defenses quite a bit, um, and so that just kind of kept us a little bit on our heels there in that second quarter. But thought we had some really good looks, weren't finishing quite at the same rate that we were in the first quarter, and um, and then um, fortunately, Jazz sparked us, hit that three, kind of. Uh, there towards the end of the quarter to, to give us just a little bit more momentum. I thought that was one of the really key parts of the game because, as I mentioned before the break, her offense, in, in terms of the numbers, um, certainly has gone down a little bit recently. A lot of that has to do with how teams are defending her. But, man, that was, that was a huge shot. Do, do you ever talk to Jazz about shooting the ball more or, or, or anything related to that or – is she just who she's going to be and the game kind of dictates what she's going to be in that certain game? Yeah, um, I mean, I think Jazz knows and understands, and we've spent a lot of time talking to her and watching film and just discussing how our team is so much better when she's aggressive-minded offensively and when she's thinking score first. And um, the game opens up, you know, the passes that she distributes and stuff, um, they are so much easier even for her when she's thinking score first and she's aggressive um, with you know, thinking um, that way and taking shots, uh, you know, early and, and trying to get to the paint and doing some things off the dribble and catch and shoot. But um, but one of the big things I'm the most proud of Jazz for is that, you know, when or if that's not really working for her, she still finds ways to completely impact the game, whether that be on the defensive end or knowing that, hey, if I can grab a bunch of rebounds or give us a second chance right here or go get a loose ball ball or uh, make a play defensively right here you know I can still have an impact on this game and that um, to me is the sign of a special player another special player is Sam Hybe and I got a chance to talk to her on the post game show last night I could not believe this because to me anytime that Nebraska and Northwestern comes up I think of Sam Hybe at the buzzer ESPN Sports Center number one play that's all I thought about and so now I'm get, getting to inter interview Sam after a win last night and I got to ask her about it, and I, I, I said, you know, were you, were you thinking about your play? Did you think you were going to have to make a, another buzzer beater? And she's like, like that was against Northwestern, wasn't I? She hadn't even thought about it. <laughs> you know, 
I mean, think about that. I mean, you know, I'm all in stats and paper oh. and, you know, fans are always into that. I just thought, you know, she's a real leader that it, this is about this game. Didn't even realize that was before. And in some ways, Sam really won the game for you last night. 17 points, five rebounds, but seven out of eight at the free throw line. Mm -hmm. I, I'm almost ready to say Sam is back to to being Sam. You know, she's had the injury. You know, she's coming back kind of kind of slowly. But tell you what, 34 minutes, 17 points, and seven eight at the foul line, at least offensively. That's kind of reminds you what Sam can do, right? Absolutely, uh, absolutely. And and you know, Sam hit that game winner here. That was the Sports Center. You know, um, play of the game and or play of the day and. Um, but also, I remember, I'll never forget Kate Kane's last game when she scored 1,000 points at Northwestern, and, and she didn't miss a shot, but I think Sam maybe started that ball game like one for 11 or mm -hmm. something, but came down and hit a huge step back off balance shot in the paint late that pretty much um, iced that game for us as well. So just big shots late against Northwestern is what I'm always going to remember. And um, really, yesterday was no different. I thought the the play after we t took a timeout when they had drew it back to seven and um, she went streaking down the middle of that press break and went straight down and laid it up and kind of gave us just a little breathing room there and, and a little confidence to kind of finish things off as well as making free throws. But um, I thought that layup was, was kind of a dagger. 402-413-2400. If you'd like to text or call the show, Carla says, who votes for slash chooses the player of the year? Are there quality slash requirements for that honor? Skills, academics, community, involvement, humility. There's a lot of different kind of player of the years. There's Big Ten player of the year. There's national. There's, there's many different flavors of national player of the year. I don't know if Carla's talking about, uh, I know the team has their own uh, postseason banquet. There's a lot of different awards there. One of those is, I, I don't know if you guys, definitely call it player of the year but that type of award but at least for within the Huskers you know um is that the coaches is that the captains is that a team vote when you guys start doing postseason awards yeah it kind of just depends and um a lot of times we'll we'll take a team vote on our postseason awards sometimes the coaches just kind of put their vote in and um uh, we we determine the awards that way as well and and um, but most recently we've been just kind of having our our coaches kind of um, uh, vote on it and including our performance staff coaches and and everybody kind of has an involvement in um, picking for our team who's our most valuable players you know offensively defensively our our Husker award things like that but on the national scale I think um, like you said just depending on you know whether it's Wade Trophy uh, Player of the Year, you know, winner, finalist, you know, they do take into account a lot of different things. And um, some of the awards, you know, NCAA Female Athlete of the Year is going to weigh heavy on um, not just your performance on the basketball court, but on academics and how much um, community service that you're doing and things like that. But um, the basketball player of the years are more heavy on how you're actually performing on the court. And Carla texted back in. She's talking about national player. I could talk about the Naismith Award because I've been involved in that for about 10 years now. Uh, there is a board of selectors um, that starts in the summer uh, submitting, um, and I think there's eight national board of selectors on the Naismith. There's, there's the Wooden Award. There's, there, there's different awards. But they submit a list of 50, and then that gets whittled down to one list group of 50, and then that gets whittled down to 30. Uh, and then you get it down to the end of the year, and then um, there is a more selective group of three people that takes those nominees and whittles it down. There's a lot of other awards. Alexis Markowski this week was named as one of the 10 finalists for the Lisa Leslie Award for the National Center of the Year. She's the only person who is a sophomore or younger that is a prestigious, prestigious group, especially when you look at she's gone up against some of the people on that list this year. You look at people like Elizabeth Kitley and, and some others that are on there. What does that mean to you as a coach that you've got a player that's, that's recognized nationally like that? Yeah, I'm just so proud of um, 
Lex. Uh, I just, I think she belongs there, and um, she's proven that by um, playing up against several of those players and really having success in um, a lot of those, you know, most of those girls that are upperclassmen on that list with her are, will be um, professional players in the near future, and I think she's um, proven that she deserves to be um, considered on that list, and I'm just proud of um, proud of her and know the best is still yet to come. Hey, friends, the Nebraska women's basketball team is back at Pinnacle Bank Arena this Thursday night as the Huskers host Illinois. Tip-off between the Big Red and the Fighting Illini is set for 7 p.m., and the Huskers will don their honoring black excellence uniforms to celebrate Black History Month. General admission tickets are $10 for adults, $5 for youth and seniors. Get your tickets at Huskers.com or call 1-800-8-BIG-RED. This is the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Show with Coach Amy Williams, and we'll take your calls and text at 402-413-2400. Lots more coming your way when we return, but buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. We'll talk a little bit about the fighting Illini and all kinds of things related to Nebraska women's basketball when we return in a few moments. While some seed companies put a greater stake in stock prices and anonymous shareholders, Rob Seco knows that what's important to you hits closer to home. That's why you'll find we're focused on your needs. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, a relationship that makes it easy to connect with anyone in the company, and the technology, traits, and genetics you need from any source. Put your stock in the company that puts you first. Rob Seco. My husband and I love to live in Nebraska. It's the good life. We always vacation here. Love those Nebraska state parks. We love to eat here. Where are you going to get a better steak? And we love to play here, especially Nebraska Pick 5 from the Nebraska Lottery. It has a $50,000 starting jackpot, drawing seven days a week, and all the proceeds go back to our state. Hey, honey, this weekend, let's buy some Nebraska Pick 5 tickets, go to a state park, and grill some steaks. Like our first date. <laughs> I'm no amateur. Top prize odds, one in 501,000. Double team gives to Hoiberg. Four seconds on the clock. Jamarcus Lawrence. Got it! Bang! 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 Jay Lawrence. I'm about to pass out. <laughs> Wednesday. Husker Hoops on the men's side take on Michigan in Ann Arbor. Pre-game coverage with Kent Pavelka and Jake Muehlheisen begin at 4.30 p.m. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Dear gas prices, go take a hike. Toyota is the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. The Toyota hybrid lineup brings efficiency with power, savings with style, and top-notch tech to keep you connected. Not to mention plush premium interiors and the most advanced Toyota safety features. So, now you know who you're talking to. Toyota, the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. Toyota, the brand with a hybrid or electric vehicle for every driver. Toyota, the brand that helps save you money at the pump. Now, let me ask you a question, dear gas prices. You really think you can stand in the way of the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years? <laughs> think again. Toyota Hybrids. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Based on manufacturer estimates, see why 2000 through 2021 sales. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so cold. The furnace is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. SOS, SOS. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus. 
insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Hi, it's Sam McEwen from the Omaha World Herald. And I'm Amy Just from the Lincoln Journal Star. Hey, listen, HuskerExtra.com and the Husker Extra mobile app have the best coverage of Nebraska sports. Our reporting team shares features and analysis of all Husker sports, along with the latest recruiting news and more. Plus, Husker Extra subscribers have access to our exclusive podcast, The Showdown, where we share our latest insights and expectations. Go to HuskerExtra.com or search Husker Extra in your app store. Download and subscribe today. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. All right, friends, our Woodhouse Auto Family Sports Nightly Hotline is brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. With 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned, you can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. 402-413-2400, we will get to... Uh, your text and your calls. Uh, Illinois comes up here on Thursday night. How did we get in the massive Big Ten conference what's going to be February the 9th, not having played Illinois, and we're going to play them twice I know. this month? That's a uh, scheduling quirk, yeah. be the nice way of saying it. And uh, have you just thrown out any scouting reports you've had previously on the Illini since they have a a whole new coach and a lot of new players this year? Yeah, I mean, they are um, an extremely different looking um, group. There's a couple of familiar faces with Kendall Bostick, who led our league in rebounding most of last season and is also leading our league in rebounding again this season. And Adalia McKenzie, who we kind of had a hard time keeping out of the paint when we were at our conference tournament last <laughs> yeah, year. And, yeah. and um, you know, so I think, uh, you know, a couple of familiar faces. But um, aside from that, a brand new coaching staff that has this team playing with a lot of confidence and several transfers, a couple really good players that she brought with her from Dayton and uh, another really nice player transferred in from Louisville that um, are just really great scoring um, uh, players in that program so it's a it's a whole new look Illinois team and and there's a reason why they've been ranked in the top 25 and receiving votes most of the season we'll get back to more discussion on the Illini but we've got a text from Carol at 402-413-2400 looking at the women's Husker stat sheet versus Northwestern it shows Jazz for 12 points yet it shows two field goals which Carol says equals four not necessarily field goals include three-point field goals, Carol, uh, plus two three-pointers equal. Oh, yeah, so, Carol, you got, you got to understand, if you, if you made two threes, that's going to be two made field goals also. So, Carol is thinking Jazz should have had 16 points. So, Jazz was made two three-pointers, so that's a total of two field goals. So, she's got six points there plus six free throws. So, that's how Jazz got 12. So, they didn't short her four points. Trust me. If anyone was going to short Jazz Shelley any points, Jeff Grease would have been down there by the official stats, and, and I would have been right behind him. You know, so sometimes that throws people off on that stat sheet it does, is that yeah. that first column is total field goals, which includes two pointers and three pointers, yeah. and then the three point field goal is separate. So I think some people think the first column should be just the twos that they make, and the second column should be the threes that they make, but. <laughs> so hopefully that helps you out, yeah. Carol, a little bit. Let's go to the phones on our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline at 402-413-2400. Let's go out to Kearney, Nebraska, talk to Kelly. Kelly, good evening. You're on with Coach Williams. Yeah, good evening. Uh, hi, guys. Love your program. Amy, I'm so glad that you're there. I just want to congratulate you on a good year. Um, the Michigan State... Uh, Spartans, oh my God, that was a hell of a game to listen to on the radio. I'm a radio guy, so I listen to the sportscasters and stuff. And then last night was kind of scary, but you scored 30 points in the first quarter, seven in the second, 
and then second half starts, and then things are crazy. But you still won by a good margin, and I'm just so proud. Um, I want to get to Lincoln. I have a couple sons that live there. I just want to be a part of uh, joining the, the volleyball, the basketball, the football, and going to watch games and stuff. But, Amy, I think you're doing a great job. That's all I got. Thank you so much, Kelly, for that phone call. I, I appreciate it. I think probably uh, if I were listening to that on the radio, I'd be having kind of some uh, heart tremors as well. Like just, you know, uh, Matt and Jeff do such a great do job of telling our team's story and getting emotionally involved with it as well. So, um, so I appreciate you tuning in, and we would welcome you with open arms to any of the um, home games at Pinnacle Bank Arena. We're going to have a few really good games here down the stretch. Would love to have you there. And uh, my my 12, uh, well, 11 year old, she's almost 12, um, reminded me when I got. At home mom you scored 30 points in the first quarter and um if you could just do that in all quarters that yeah. would be 120 points i'm like thanks for the math on that <laughs> bentley I, I appreciate that <laughs> we've doing a lot of math here tonight yeah. kelly we appreciate the phone call come support the women's basketball team as we pack pba on february the 18th against the iowa hawkeyes and join the omaha world herald lincoln journal star husker extra and Beck's hybrids in helping the Nebraska women's basketball team pack PBA. Coach Williams and the Huskers want you there to give them a home court advantage against Iowa on February the 18th. Purchase your tickets at Huskers.com. We'll have more with Coach Williams and your text and your calls when the Nebraska women's basketball radio show returns in a few moments. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. Husker fans, this is Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. You've probably heard about NIL, name, image, and likeness, and now you can have an immediate impact on the success of our programs. The 1890 Initiative is a proud NIL company in Nebraska, and with your help, we can maximize our student-athletes' opportunities with NIL and prepare them for life after college. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics. Let's do the same with NIL. To learn more, visit 1890Nebraska.com, where 100% of your donation goes directly to Husker student-athletes. That's 1890Nebraska.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. This year, we considered hiring an ad agency to help with our marketing. They pitched impressive visuals and a script that was inspiring. And exotic animal mascots to help grab your attention. In the end, we just decided to tell it to you straight. Shelter Insurance has award-winning customer service at affordable rates. Plus, our local agents are there to help you understand what coverage you need. See shelter agent Sharon Lear in Papillion, Paul Hoos in Grand Island, or an Ord C agent Matt Woodward. The LEAD Center for Performing Arts is celebrating 33 years of bringing the world's top artists to the University of Nebraska-Lincoln campus. Upcoming shows include Hamilton, Yo-Yo Ma, American Ballet Theater, and Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill. Get tickets at leadcenter.org. Watching on our YouTube channel right now, you know, this is a microphone apparatus that moves up and down. And uh, Amy went to move it, and I, I think she thought she broke somehow the I, microphone. Somehow I snapped this off, the cord came undone. But, but being the resourceful coach that she is, she repaired it. <laughs> so we can continue on here with the show. You can have a career in radio. You're going to take my job one of these days here. <laughs> hey, come support the women's basketball team as we pack PBA on February the 18th against the Iowa Hawkeyes. Join the Omaha World Herald, Lincoln Journal Star Husker Extra, and Bex Hybrids in helping the Nebraska women's basketball team pack PBA. Coach Williams and the Huskers want you there to give them a home court advantage against Iowa on February the 18th. Purchase your tickets at Huskers.com. On our text line at 402-413-2400, Sam in Omaha says, what two stats 
does coach look at after a game first, win or loss, or does it vary by game? What do you what do you first look at on that stat sheet? I almost always my eyes are drawn to the rebounding to see uh, yeah. if we out rebounded our opponent or what the rebounds were at, and then the assist to turnover and how many assists on how many made baskets. You know, so that's kind of where uh, my eyes are drawn first. Obviously, there are certain games where it's kind of like okay, we you know we had a very specific goal against Michigan State that that had nothing to do with those typical stats, and so that's something that you know that our whole team was kind of glued into you know and and if you you could have seen us in the stands pointing you know that's two that's three that's you know because yeah. they knew specifically what we're so every game does warrant certain things that we know if we can do this we can really help our chances to be successful so those games we may look at specific stats but by nature my eyes are drawn to the rebounding and assist to turnover or assist to assisted bath to, to made bath Baskets. That makes me feel good because I think you know that's my favorite stat. That's that's the one I'm always looking at because if your assist to basket ratio is pretty good, you've shared the ball and usually good things. Mark on our text line, coach would like the plus minus stat to be available. Can we do that, Mark in Omaha? Those are available after every game. Uh, the the box score. If you're watching on our YouTube channel, this is the stat sheet that you'll get after every game. On Huskers.com, it's part of the game story. The plus-minus stat is on the far right side after block shots. Um, is that a stat that you pay much attention to? Which plus-minus stat is, for example, last night, Jazz Shelley was plus 22, meaning during the time she was on the floor, Nebraska had a 22-point edge while she was out there. Is that something you look at? Uh, it's something that we look at and take into consideration. We don't put all of our stock or weight into that. There's a lot of deeper analytics that kind of go into certain lineups that are um, leading to productivity, whether it be offensively or defensively, that we um, that we value. But it certainly is a quick peek that sometimes we take a peek at and and um, we'll we'll take into consideration with um, a lot of other things. Yeah. For example. I thought when Northwestern brought Elena Goodchild, who's from Australia, and is an excellent player, but predominantly they bring her in there as a three-point threat, I thought they didn't do very well when she was in there, and she only played five minutes. Well, she was plus two. Yeah. So if you just look at the plus minus, you would thought, well, why didn't she play the whole game? If you watched it and you look at your eyes, you're like, they need to get her off the floor because they're not doing very well. But it's interesting. Mark, hopefully... That answers your question. Hey, come support the women's basketball team as we pack PBA on February the 18th against the Iowa Hawkeyes. Join the Omaha World Herald, Lincoln Journal Star, Husker Extra, and Bex Hybrids in helping the Nebraska women's basketball team pack PBA. Coach Williams and the Huskers want you there to give them a home court advantage against the Iowa Hawkeyes on February the 18th. Purchase your tickets at Huskers. Dot com. Now, obviously, we want you to go to that game, but let's not forget about Illinois on Thursday night. That's in less than 48 hours. We'll have it for you at 7 o'clock Central if you can't get there. But please get out. Bring a radio with you. You can listen inside the arena. I mean, you can still listen and go to the game. Yeah. 6.45 with the pregame. Uh, you know Shauna Green very well, their new coach. She's turned a lot of heads this year by turning that Illinois program around. It's, it's tough to come in and turn a program around, right? Yeah. yeah I mean, you know this. It's right? pretty darn tough, and she's making it look easy. So um, I... I'm familiar with her. She's been an assistant coach in the Big Ten at Northwestern and a head coach at Dayton. Um, we've spoke at um, some conventions at the same time and got to really um, hear each other and bounce ideas off each other. And I have a lot of respect for her and what she's already doing at Illinois. So Illinois on Thursday night, then the Huskers spend Super Bowl Sunday in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Before we go, Coach Williams, Chiefs or Eagles? Who are you picking? I'm going Chiefs. <laughs> our producer, Andrew, not, not happy with that. Amy, great show. Thanks to all of our listeners and our texters and our callers. I'm Matt Cotney. That's Amy Williams. That'll wrap up Sports Nightly for tonight. Good night, Nebraska. up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts.
Nebraska women's basketball offers one of the best values in all of Husker sports with single game reserve tickets at Pinnacle Bank Arena for just $15. Adult general admission seating is just $10, while youth and senior general admission tickets are $5. Children six and under are just a buck. Plans now to bring your whole family to Husker women's basketball for Big Ten home games in January and February. Get your tickets and the full schedule at Huskers.com. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series, drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. Double team gives to Hoiberg. Four seconds on the clock. Jamarcus Lawrence got it! Bang! 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 Jay Lawrence. I'm about to pass out. <laughs> Wednesday, Husker Hoops on the men's side take on Michigan in Ann Arbor. Pre-game coverage with Kent Pavelka and Jake Muehlheisen begin at 4.30 p.m. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Hey everyone, I'm Mark Wahlberg and I have some exciting news to share. At Wahlburgers, we are all about bringing the family together to enjoy a great meal and have a great time. That's why right now, for a limited time, kids eat free every day at all Hy-Vee Wahlburger locations. Kids 12 and under can enjoy one free kids meal with any purchase of an adult burger, sandwich, or entree salad.